since I've done um, a video. <laughs> it's been a while, a long time. Anyways, um, a lot of people are asking me about uh, how to make um, a vector file for cutting. And I'm going to try to um, squeeze in in a short time how to do it for Roland machines, if you guys are using Rolands, and for um, any other machines. Um, basically, it's the same, it's just with Roland you do. Uh, so basically, let's, um, let's assume we want to cut this, print and cut this image. Um, so basically what you would do is download the image as a JPEG, and as I found out, when you see, when you find this in the folder, it is actually, um, you see what it says, this is item type Chrome HTML document. So if you try to open it with Photoshop, it's not gonna open it. Well, I actually did open it. Hmm, that was weird. So it didn't open the first time, but if you find something that doesn't open the first time, uh, what you do is, you open it with uh, paint and most of the times like 98 percent of the times you would be able to open it with um with paint okay and then you open it with paint and then you just pretty much sorry i'm just getting used to this new thing um and you go to save jpeg png doesn't really matter as long as you have it saved and you'll be able to open it Okay, so now we have the image. So what we're gonna do is basically make a copy. Okay, let's go here. First of all, we gotta go check. Um, the first thing I do is I go to image right here. Image size. I check the resolution and look, it is at 72. So I put it at 300. And actually, you know what? The reason it opened was because this is not the right image. I actually downloaded one before, and it was this one that it, I couldn't open with um, with Photoshop initially. So I opened it with um, with Paint, and it allowed me to save it as a JPEG. So, anyways, so basically, what you do is you make a copy of the layer by dragging it right here. Okay, or you could just select right click and then uh, make a copy of the uh, of the layer, you know, duplicate layer, okay? So this is the base layer. This is just in case you keep it there. So what we do with this one, this is, you go right here to the uh, magic one and magic one. You go right here to the selection and in tolerance right here, You could put that at, uh, let's try 80%. Hmm, it works. Because the reason is you have to try it to see the, because sometimes like you see he has some white right here in, the, um, in his hand. So it might actually think that this is also something that it needs to remove. So it's gonna go inside. So 80 looks great. So you delete that. Go to the other section, select it, same thing. Go right here, select it, same thing, you delete that. And you go to Control D on the Apple, I mean on the, on the, um, on the PC. And you go right here to the eraser tool. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna delete this little hair right here. Basically what I'm doing, you see how it goes and appears and disappears? This is when you press the caps um, key. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So if you double click on that layer and put stroke, you're gonna see that that little hair stay right there. So what you do is, hmm, you see, 
the reason is not deleting completely or is deleting slowly is because right here on the harness you have to put it on 100 and the opacity has to be at 100 as well so now when I do this it automatically deletes it so you delete this line because you don't want that line there it's just going to create some issues and you just try to be as gentle as possible and this is you know if you already know how to do it and you and you guys are say oh you don't do it like that or whatever it just I mean there's a lot of ways to do it I'm just showing you something really easy the way a lot of people can you know can learn and it's a way to start after this you know this method you could actually do do it a bunch of other ways um, but this is uh, something that when I started I started doing this one and it's it's pretty simple so I keep using it and um, there's like I said there's a bunch of ways to do it but this is the my personal way of doing it anyways so once I have this one um, this one this particular file is going to be prepared for printing and cutting on the rolling machine so basically what i'm going to do is double click again and then go to color overlay and the stroke also i'm going to set it to black and i'm going to tell you why so now that we have this one we go to file save as a copy and we could just put it right there okay so let's put a roll in cut put enter and put enter and that should be it now you take the stroke out you take the color overlay and you go to file save as a copy and same thing you put roll in not cut but you put print because this is the actual file that you're going to print and you put okay now if you're using Roland you could actually personally I've seen that whenever you use RGB um, the colors come out brighter if you use CMYK um, they come out they come out nice depends on the printer I guess I have three printers I have one of the newest one but it depends but I've I've used RGB and the colors they just pop out more. Okay, so that's just that's just my printers. I don't know how the other ones are set up, but it, it's just my um, my um, my my you know my my what is it my experience. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, let's keep on going. Okay, so now that you have that, you go to the folder select the one that says the silhouette right click and then we're going to open in illustrator okay now once we have this in illustrator i believe you could do this also in cricut they like you can trace the image so but this i do it in illustrator is you know for me it's faster you go to object you go to image trace make and expand once you have this, you see how now it, you have these blue lines right here. You could right click and put on group. And now you see, you delete, you know, you remove this one, you could delete that. There's a little dot right there as well. Now this one, this is a vector now. Now what can what you can do is you see. You could put the stroke or the fill. That's the fill. This is the stroke. It's fill, stroke. Now remember how I told you that in Bursal, I mean, in, with roller machines, you do have to have a special um, um, cutting um, setting for this one. And I already have that. And I'll show you. Hold on, give me one second. I had a file. So this is a file that we would already use. This is for a t-shirt that we did. And basically what you need is these settings. The color of the stroke. 
the color of the stroke is what's going to tell the machine, hey, listen, this is a cut. This is not a print. And if you go up here, when you hover over it, cut contour, you see? Now, if you don't know how to get it, basically you just go to the swatch options. You put cut contour. You have to put it like this, C-U-T, upper um, case uh, uh, C-O-N-T-O-U-R, spot color, and then CMYK, 0, 100, 0, 0, and then that one will be added here. There's other profiles as well, um, but we're going to work with this one for now, okay? So now that you have that one, and if you guys cannot find it or cannot, you know, can I get it to work? I'll put this, um, uh, I'll put this on the link and you guys can download this, uh, this setting. Okay. But it's also on uh, Roland website. They, sh I believe they have it. Um, I'm going to try to see if they have a link directly to it, but they, they do have it anyways. So you select this one, you see it's still black. This one is a um, different color. You're going to select this one. You go right here and just put a stroke of tw uh, 0.25 and then right here you see just select like cut contour now, now you have your little Mickey Mouse ready for cutting but now what about the image so the image basically you go back here and you pick the one that says roll and print right click and open it with Illustrator now this one you could bring it you could just drag it here. And you see now it's, it's actually in front of the cutting. You see? It's right there. So you could just move it a little bit and just try to make it perfect. And you have it there. Now, this is ready. And then we're going to do um, save as copy. I'm going to put it up there. And then make sure you save it as an EPS. So roll on cut. And let's just put ready. Let's just put ready. Ready. So you press save. It's going to tell you, OK. Now, really important though, um, do not use um, PNGs, or if you do use PNGs, make sure you flatten the, the PNG or you rasterize the PNG before you actually use this step. Because if you don't, you're going to get an error and you're not going to be able to cut it. Okay? So it doesn't give me any error. It says yes. And we're going to Bursa Works. Now, Bursa works. You see, I have the True Biz. This is the new one we have. I'm going to load it up. And I'm going to go to Downloads, where we have those downloads. We have a bunch of files. Oh, here it is. So here it is, ready to cut. When you load it up to um, Bursa works, make sure that you have, when it says special items, you have this um, small icon, the A. Now I'm using the new Versa Works. Um, I believe this is 6.0 6 something. But um, on the all the models, you could actually also load it up. This is I have an older model also. Um, so you see it's right here. Double click on it, and you see on this one they actually show you a special item. They give you a little icon, a, uh, a blue one. And here they actually, since these machines are print and cut, the new one is only a print, a print uh, machine because I have a cutter that is, um, that, uh, you know, I use it with the cutting lines. And uh, look, so this one, you see the marching, the marching ants, that's how they call it, that it goes around the, um, the, the, the image, the cutout. But this is the old models. I mean, the new models also, they have it, but my, my machine specifically, because since um, this one is only, uh, hold on, I'm trying to, this is a print only machine. So it doesn't have that option. 
and that's why you don't see the um, the, the marching ants. But it's, it's only my system. If you have uh, your print and cut device, then you're gonna see the same thing as you see on my uh, older model. Okay, so let's close that out. Um, and let's go back here. So basically, um, okay, let's do the setting and I'll show you setting. Let me actually see if I have something loaded into my printer. And if it's taking a little bit too long, I do apologize. Like I said, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a really, really long time. And I will try to, I will try to make more videos about um, how to set up these things and everything. And so about my hair, so, you know, it's almost the end of the day. Um, I just wanted to put this video because there's a lot of people asking me about it. Um, and I hope you guys like it. If you guys like it, um, I, I, we, I have so many things that I wanted to share with you guys. And um, if you guys need anything out, sometimes I also need some, some, some you know, some few pointers. Um, and it would be nice to like share, uh, you know, share um, knowledge and stuff like that. So basically it's cleaning up and let me show you what I have in that way. Hold on. So basically what I have is, um, we have the Rezo. This one is a duplicator right now is a, it's a little bit sick. <laughs> I have one of the sensors that went bad. This is the new one. This is a new machine. Um, then we have this one. This is just for like, uh, you know, like small uh, copies and whatnot. Uh, we have the the computers. We have this is the cutter. This is the cutter that we have. This is the one we're gonna be cutting the the sample on. This is the brand new uh, cutter. This is um, 64 inch cutter. It's really nice since it's brand new. Honestly, I. There's not a lot of videos out there showing you what to do, how to use it. And I, I love the graph tech. There's a bunch of videos on, on, on how to use it. And personally, um, I love the graph tech. I use it pretty much every day. We use it for vinyl and things like that. If you guys want vinyl as well, um, you know, if you guys don't need a full row, if you just need a a piece of you know a small um eight and a half by eleven i have glitter i have a bunch of stuff um reach out to me um I'll, i could put it on the mail you know a couple bucks and um also if you guys um have a machine like like the one i have like the true uh we are selling inks um we have our own brand okay we have our own brand of inks and um yeah so beautiful uh beautiful colors and um you guys can order from us um believe they're going out for um they're only going out for um no more than uh, i believe 85 uh, 85 something like that um sorry my gimbal is is messing up and um so yeah so this is the this is the cutter okay so this is almost ready it's actually a 28 inches and we're gonna set it up so that way you guys can see how it's gonna cut so let's let me move this around so this is the new model and basically we're just gonna get the size so it's 28.35 um, and we're just gonna do a few a few samples now remember since my machine is is um print only device i have to in order to cut it i have to use the curl marks so i'm gonna tell the machine hey listen i want to use the curl marks to cut the um the artwork and um i'm put a center in the you know center in the media and i'm gonna use i on this one i find out the generic vinyl one version two or generic, both of them work really, really nice. Um, I'm just gonna do standard. 
standard, I work with standard, you know, most of the times it's really, really good. Um, don't change any of the settings, not, none of this one. Um, true rich color works really, really fine for me. And um, so we're gonna send it to print, we're gonna put okay. And we're gonna put uh, print. So it's gonna tell you how many sets, so you just want one. And it's gonna tell you the inks that you're, you know, you may be low on. And yeah, just put print. Now you guys can skip some of the some of the video because it is uh, <laughs> my gimbal is just really really messing up and yeah because it's a continuous video so <laughs> if there's mistakes I apologize but um, you know I I got uh, you know I wanted you guys to see exactly how how it is that we make these things and uh oh yeah that's that's me on the picture by the way <laughs> anyways so it's heating up okay so while uh, let's let's just try to use the time and let's actually work on the other files that are going to be used just to cut on the um, on the regular cutter you guys can use it on the cricut or uh, on the Cricut or the um, any other cutter, okay? So let's say this is the f for the print and cut. So let's say um, you just you just need a I don't know um, butterfly butterflies uh, silhouette. Okay. Now let's say you like. Uh, for the sake of it, let's say let's say you like this one. You open the image, you right click it, save as image. Okay, now this is an easy one because this is a JPEG. So you go to the download folder. You go right here and then put um open with Illustrator. And like I said, I'm really sorry because <laughs> I'm trying to navigate the the gimbal and it's giving me it's giving me a headache. For some reason it's just moving on its own. And yeah, so let's try to finish this one. Okay, so there. And it's giving me again, it's giving me some headaches. Okay, there you go. All right, so basically this is really simple. This is a really nice image. It's high, you know, high res image. So basically what you would do, same thing. You go to object. I think we got cut off, but look, if you just move the black parts, this is the one that's gonna be cut off. You clean the white areas and basically you left with this one. Uh, now this one's, um, let's say we wanna go and cut it on the, um, so, so you see now it's printing. So since it's a uh, print and cut, it's actually printing the, um, the crop marks first. And that's how we're gonna use it here. Okay, so let's just put, uh, this is the, um, the graph tech. And we're gonna unload, I think I had a, small piece of vinyl here so let me just put um you know what hold on I'm gonna put it here okay so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna <coughs> So I'm gonna load it up. Okay, so the machine is really simple. Um, if you guys uh, need uh, some instructions on how to set up or how to um, 
So I just saw that it was, um, it got cut off. I don't know how long it got cut off, but um, it did get cut off. So basically what I did, I, I just loaded it up into the, um, into the, um, the machine. And what I like to do is I like to set, you know, put roll to current position. Now what it is, is it actually saves me some material and I've been using it ever since I bought the machine and I never had any issues. Okay, so this one is, is printing. And like I said, this is, you know, I'm, I'm doing it live. And uh, okay, so this one, you right click right here. I mean, yeah, you actually click on file. You go to Cutting Master. This one, you have to use Cutting Master. That's the software that comes with the uh, Graph Tech. And then it's going to load up. Once it loads you got to pull the, um, the size. You click right here. Um, and then it gives you 22. And let's just do, for the sake of this one, we're going to do two. Let's do three. We're going to do three. Um, now, remember, this one, and it tells you that I, you have a update. I don't want the update right now. This is really important right here. You see this one, it says mirror. This is basically works with a heat transfer. You want to unclick the mirror and then just uh, send it. Um, if you guys want, like I said, later on, I'll show you the settings for, uh, the, the, the cutting, uh, the cutting, um, uh, what is it? The, uh, the settings, the conditions, but the condition right now is at, uh, speed 15, force 12, and it's cutting out nicely. And I'll show you once it's done. And this one is done. So this one is done. And then we go to function, cheat cut, you enter. Okay. So now basically what we're going to do is we're going to We're gonna load it up and we're gonna cut it. And you see the other one is cutting as well. And just give me a second, I'll load it up. Hmm, something happened. This is what I'm telling you, it's, it's playing some games with me. And you know, like, <clears throat> like in, in life, nothing is perfect. You see, it should have printed, these are the guides. It should have printed this one right here. And this, this, this last one right here was for some reason it printed like this. So um, I don't know the reason. Honestly, I don't know the reason. The first time it's done that. But um, everything was perfect. Um, let me just send it again. You see, that's, that happens. Sometimes, you know, everything is running perfect. And then, boom, you don't know what happened. So, it's going to start printing again. And 
And in the meantime, let's uh, actually I need some blades. And you gotta understand, it's already like 6 p.m. over here. And I already have the shop closed. I'm just doing this one because, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of people asking me how to do it. And I just wanted to take the time and actually show you the process. Okay. So, basically, you know, this is, oh, you see what I'm telling you? <laughs> something happened to my gimbal. I don't know. Something happened to it. It's just acting weird. It's acting weird. Okay, so it's printing the second part again. It should be perfect. Anyways, so look at this cut. You see? It is perfect. And well, you can see that the inside of the butterfly. You see, let me actually try to, to do it. So let's just do this once, okay? you see like this so it comes out really really nice even when you could do with your, you know with your fingers but you know you need a special tool and pretty much that's that's how you do it and then we're gonna check out the um, the other way and I gotta check it what happened so you see now it's printing correctly that's how we should have print Hmm. I'm telling you, my, my gimbal is acting, <laughs> it's acting so weird, it's moving all over, but, okay, so now it's done, let me actually get something from here, so this is my shop, it's, Little bit messy, but that's this is Monday, anyways. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Still processing. Gotta let it finish and when I cut it, go to function, sheet cut. And this is a live video, so there's you know, I didn't have time to edit or anything. So you guys pretty much saw the, the bloopers and everything. So here you go. Look at the quality, it's beautiful. The machine is just so so nice. Alright, so just give me one second. I got to set it up for cutting. And then it will be set.
like I said, the thing about making a live video is that you get to see all the the true colors of what printing is. A lot of videos, you know, they're they get edited so much. Uh, but let me show you the uh, <laughs> the real thing. Anyways, so you turn it on. Um, this little right here, the square and the circle have they have to go on this side, and then just move it. Make sure you line it correctly. Like there, I see that. You know, and when you move the head, you know, try to just use your fingers and move them like this. They move pretty easy, you know, do not force them or anything like that. So basically that's. And we're still, I'm looking at the camera because hopefully it doesn't, doesn't move on me. All right, so it's set. With this particular um, model, like I said, I've been trying to read into it as much as I can. I have the manual and I'm going to try to, um, you know, see as much as I can on this one so basically when you put in all I do is press the um, the up arrow and then it's gonna give me oh I forgot did I no forget it's, it's actually good okay so it's giving me a 28.8 .8 size and that should be pretty much in sync with what we have here so basically on Bursawork 6, you just drag this one here and it should already have all the information and you press print and then just send it to print. Now it's gonna take a few seconds for the information to get here. And I forgot to actually, you know, that little part right there, it should have been moved a little bit more into the front, but I did it and I forgot. It's not a big deal right now because um, but it will detect it, you'll see, it detected it. So, so now we're good. But if, if it's too far off, it's not gonna detect it. So it's, uh, it's better to, to put it like right where it can detect the... Uh, and you see went to the other. And I'm going to tell you, the reason is going a little bit too slow. Uh, and I'll show you on here. When you create your, um, your vector files for cutting, you have to be aware of how many points you have. You see how, how many little points, that, you know, this... Uh, so you go right here, you go to right click and you put a simplify. And when you simplify, I just want you to, to, to show you something. When you simplify, you go from having 145 points to 34 points. That means that basically in order to make the shape, you're using less uh, vector uh, points to create the same image. So I forgot to do that. So that's why it's going pretty much stopping at every little point. So, I mean, if it's a small job, you're not going to see it, you're not going to feel it. But if it's a, you know, large job that you need to cut, it's going to take forever. So, one of my biggest uh, thing is control the, uh, the points that you have on a, on a, on a vector cutting file. Um, not on the actual file, like the printed section, but the actual cutting uh, uh, section. And... Uh, Okay, so let's uh, let's put it here. Let's put it 
right there. And voila. You see? So there you have it. I hope you guys like it. Look. Like I said on the stroke, don't put too much stroke. That's why you're gonna see a lot of white. I love to do it like this. Just um, probably nine stroke or 10 stroke depending. But if you have a nice cutter, it will give you some nice graphics. And this is what it is. Um, I hope you guys like it. And share the video. And give me a, you know, leave me a message. And yeah, let's keep on cutting. Let's keep on creating. Hope you guys like it. I know it was a long video, but like I told you guys, um, I'm trying to share as much as I can or as much as I know. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that um, for the, the, the Xerox machine as well, um, how to change the transfer belt and things like that. Um, for the Rollins, for the old Rollins, how to change the, the inks. So yeah, that is, that is it. Hopefully you guys learn a little bit and thank you for staying with me almost an hour.